then uh, do do that. And uh, I'm actually going to, uh, as I was saying earlier, um, the theme today is that I'm going to be looking at hands where uh, they, they were played recently. Some were played online, some were from before the lockdown. But uh, the common theme is that uh, a lot of declarers didn't make the most of them, didn't make the most number of tricks. So uh, it involves things like establishing um, suits. Um, I may um, mute you all in a minute. I think, I think I will mute you all because it's uh, a little bit noisy. So just unmute yourselves if you, if you wish to ask a question. So do, do uh, feel free to ask questions. And we'll start off with this hand here, which was uh, uh, started by South with two no Trump. And North, you've got 13 points. And what do you think North should bid on this hand? The two no Trump shows 20 to 22. So with 13 points, you really should be going straight to six no Trump here. You have at least 33 points. And most people who played this did end up in um, six no Trump, but only half of them uh, made it. So let's have a look at the um, at the play. Let's assume the opponent's lead a spade, and South is declarer in six no Trump. So we're going to stop to count our top tricks. So take a minute, and then decide how many top tricks you have for certain. So I think I've got two spades, three hearts, um, four diamonds. Okay, that's nine tricks. And I've got two top tricks in club. So we, we start off with 11 top tricks here. There's no suit that we're weak in. We've got stoppers in all the suits. So with 11 top tricks, where can we make a 12th trick from? Um, that might be a rhetorical question. I'm hoping someone might unmute themselves and answer. Yeah. Um, but where, where could that 12th trick come from? Well, there's only really one chance, isn't there? And it's the club suit. You've, um, you, you can't make any other tricks anywhere else, really. So you just have to hope that the clubs divide evenly for you, that they either divide 3-2, um, and that you can uh, make a, another trick there. So what we're going to do I suppose we're going to start off um, winning that uh, first trick. Now, you could play the clubs straight away, um, though there is some merit in playing the diamonds, because if you cash four rounds of diamonds, someone may start discarding something, which may help you. So maybe start with the diamonds. We play two rounds, everyone follows. We'll play a third round. Okay, everyone's followed to that one. And... We, we may as well try and cash that last diamond. So maybe cross over with a heart and now cash your last diamond. What do you think you might throw away from dummy on that ace of diamonds? Well, as long as you, you want to keep four clubs in one of the hands, um, you can safely discard a spade there. Okay. And... Although I cash the diamonds, I don't want to cash all my other winners before I play the clubs, because otherwise they'll be, they'll, I'm going to lose a club at some point, and I don't want anyone to cash their um, hearts or spades. So now I'm going to turn my attention to clubs, and with any luck, I, can I cash two rounds, everyone follows, I can now play a third round, which I'll lose, of course, but then I've established a club um, when I get back in. I'll be able to make my uh, 12 tricks that way. So really fairly straightforward, although as I say, about half the people um, only made 11 tricks on this one. All right, you just have to go after the, the clubs and establish tricks there. Any comments or questions on that? How about this one? First of all, uh, let's look at the bidding here. South opens a spade, and you're sitting there as north, you have, uh, I think, 17 points. So you know you've got at least game in spades. What are you going to bid with that hand? Anyone like to suggest something? Maybe I will try unmuting you all. 
Yeah, mutual. Anyone have any um, suggestions as to what North should bid with that hand? Three clubs. What was that? Two clubs. Two clubs, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I think so. Well, um, yeah, it, it's too strong to go to four spades. And with 17 points, you'd really like to find out a bit more about your partner's hand. So if you're not playing any um, uh, conventions, I would probably bid two clubs and see what my partner rebids. This is actually a hand where I'd like to be playing, um, where I'd like to be playing something like um, Jacoby to No Trump, which was something I covered a few weeks ago. Um, and if you are playing that convention, you actually can bid two No Trump on a hand like this. Um, which is a forcing raise showing game in spades, uh, at least enough, uh, and a support for your partner's spades. And if you do play that convention, it's quite helpful on a hand like this, because on when you bid two no trump, if you're familiar with that, your partner will now bid three hearts. That three heart bid actually shows a shortage in hearts, either a singleton or void, and that fits in very well with your hand. So now you might well explore a slam, bidding four no trump. Five uh, spades, if you're playing uh, Roman key card Blackwood, another convention again, should show two key cards and the queen of spades. So if you think about it, you've got two key cards yourself, two aces. Your partner showing two of the other key cards. So you're missing a key card, um, but uh, you've... Uh, You've got, oh, you've got the Queen of Spades, so you may well end up in six spades on this one. Let's um, see how it goes in uh, six spades. And let's suppose your opponents lead a club here. It, the, the lead will affect the result here. But suppose they lead the club here. Again, take a moment and, you know, you can count your winners or you can count your losers. Um, but try and do one of them. If I count my winners on this hand, what have I got? I've got how many spade tricks? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six, haven't I? Mm. Six spade tricks, okay. How many diamonds have I got? Two. Two, yeah. two diamonds, right. And how many clubs? Four. 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 I've got four. So it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, um, uh, so I should be able to make six spades here. Um, is there a chance to do better uh, on this one? Oops. Well, yes. I, I've, I've got. Um, they, I'm lucky in the sense that they didn't leave a heart here, or they would have take could have taken one heart right away. The fact that they've um, not led a heart actually gives me a chance to make all thirteen tricks. Because what I can do is uh, when I play the clubs, I've got the ace, queen, king, jack, I'll be able to discard um, on the fourth club. And I'd be able to discard um, a heart or a diamond. And what I want to discard is a heart because the diamond I can rough. In other words, I can gain an extra trick by roughing a diamond here in dummy and then discarding the uh, heart on the fourth club. Uh, so, in other words, you've got 12 tricks there, but you can make 13 if you're able to rough a diamond. And that's what I'm going to do. So, let's suppose they lead a club and I win that. What are you going to do now? Anytime draw you gain the. Trumps. Yeah, draw trumps. There's, there's no reason not to, I think. We've got uh, 10 spades between us and dummy so the opponents have only got three so it will take at most three rounds to draw them and i'll still have a spade left in order to rough that last diamond so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to start by drawing trumps and i get a bad break okay they're, they're um, east mm -hmm. discards but nonetheless i've still got enough trump to draw the second round and to draw that last trump with the king okay now all the trumps have gone and now I'm going to make that extra diamond trick by cashing the ace and king of diamonds. Then I come back to my hand with the club and rough that last diamond with the jack. 
Okay, and now that's done. I can play off the last two clubs and make 13 tricks on that one. So um, very few people uh, managed that when this hand was uh, was played. Uh, obviously, it depends on the lead. If they, if they lead a heart, you can't. But if they lead anything other than a heart, uh, you do have a chance to make all 13 Tony, tricks. Tony? Yes. How do you bid it if you don't play Jacoby? Well, then it would go um, one spade, two clubs. I strongly suggest North bids two clubs. Uh, and then South will rebid two spades, um, confirming that they've got at least a five card suit and a minimum hand. Now, it's a little bit harder to bid if, you, if you're not playing Jacoby. It's really useful on this one uh, to find out about your partner's shortage. Um, so it's not easy to not easy to bid this one um, just uh, just by bidding uh, two clubs here and then two spades. But but you may well uh, take take a stab at it, although it's not um, not clear cut. Basically, with seventeen points opposite an opening hand, it's hard to know whether you've got enough for a slam using uh, normal bidding uh, systems. Okay. Any other comments or questions on that? Let's try um, another one. This one was, um, uh, suppose you start off with one spade, your partner bids two clubs, two spades, and then uh, north jumps to four spades. So let's have a look at this one. Uh, again, in a suit contract, you can try to count your winners or you can look at your losers. If we look at our losers here, we've got how many spade losers? None. We don't expect to lose any spades, but, but we've got two heart losers, haven't we? Yes. Um, we've got diamond losers here, which we might be able to rough in dummy, uh, and we've got no club losers. But what we have here is this long club suit, and any time you have a long suit like this, it's nearly always a good idea to try to set up tricks by uh, establishing that suit. Sometimes you'll need to rough in order to establish it. Um, but if you can, it will provide a lot more tricks normally than playing any other way. And, and that's what I'm planning to do on this hand. I'm hoping, in other words, to play the clubs at some point, uh, And by establishing them, I'll be able to discard a number of losers from the, uh, from the south hand. One. So that's going to be my plan on this hand. Um, so let's win that first one with the ace. And again, you need to decide whether you want to draw trumps here. And you probably can afford to draw trumps on this one. Let's suppose we start with the king. And if we play the queen and everyone follows, we now know that that's eight trumps gone. There's just one high, uh, sorry, um, one more trump out. And we can draw it by playing the ace. That's got rid of the trump. And now we can try and turn our attention to club. So we'll cash the king, cross over to the ace. And if everyone has followed, that's eight clubs gone. And you've got four left, nine, 10, 11, 12. So what we're going to do is play another club, rough that last one. And we've got an entry back to dummy, fortunately, the ace of diamonds. So we're going to cross over to the ace of diamonds and now we can cash our good clubs. So we'll discard our heart losers and our uh, diamond losers. And we'll end up with just uh, one, uh, one loser there. We'll make 12 tricks on this one. Um, again, what, all, what it needed was a normal distribution in clubs in order to set up that suit. But, that was the best bet on that hand to go for the club. Was My heart was playing out. Anyone have any um, comments on that? Any questions? I wasn't making it up. Okay, let's try another one. This was um, uh, this was another one. This was played um, uh, again at the um, club, I think, on a Friday before the lockdown. And most people ended up in four hearts on this one. Um, so the bidding might be north opens a diamond. If you overcall a heart, with a nice heart suit there, 
your partner might support you and you might end up in four hearts. Let's suppose the opponents lead a diamond and let's <coughs> stop to make a plan here. Again, you can look at your losers, you can look at your winners if you like. If we count our winners here, how many tricks do we expect here? How many heart tricks have we got? Four of them, one, two, three, six. We have six hearts, yeah. There's no, there's no, nothing when you're playing online to stop using a pen and paper here, although you can't do it in bridge club. So mm -hmm. you've got, you've got six hearts. How many spades? Two. 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 Uh, how many diamonds? None. None. And how many clubs? One. One. So you have nine tricks. And actually, when this hand was played, no one made any more than nine tricks. No one managed to make more than nine tricks on this one. So looking at it now, is there any chance to make more than nine tricks? Spades. Yeah, throw me. Yeah. yeah, with the spades. If we can establish a spade. Yeah, if we can establish spades, we may be able to make uh, more than nine tricks. I mean, we're, we're in danger here because we're in danger of losing two diamonds a club and a spade okay but if we can set up the spades in time we may be able to to do better than nine tricks so let's see how it goes let's suppose your opponents lead diamonds suppose they take the king maybe cash another diamond okay that's uh, two diamonds gone and suppose they play a third diamond what are you going to do here Trump. We're going to trump, but I think we need to trump high here. Um, I think there's a, a distinct danger that if we if we rough low, that South might be able to over rough. Um, it's ten. Yeah. So let's rough high. Okay. Ten. So we rough with the ten. Okay. South discards. That was good. And now we've gained the lead. What are we going to do now? Establish the spades. Well, we, we want to establish the spades, and we also want to um, draw trumps, don't we? Um, Who comes first? Yeah, so uh, it's a little tricky here. We've, um, if we think about it, we started with six hearts there, seven, eight, nine. Um, mm. So what we might try and do is start off playing our high hearts here. What we want to do is try to keep entries to the west hand because there are very few entries to the, um, to the spade suit over there. So let's start mm -hmm. off with the ace and the king. And if it, with a bit of luck, everyone will follow to those. If everyone has followed, how many hearts is that? There was eight gone now. There was one rough, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've right. actually drawn trumps. The trumps have all, um, have all um, gone. And now we can turn our attention to spades and we need a little bit of luck here we need the spades to be divided evenly so that when we play the ace and king if everyone follows we can now give up a spade okay they'll win that but now we've established uh, a remaining spade there and um, we'll be able to get there with the queen of hearts so whatever they play here i suppose they play a club we can win that one but we are still able to get over to dummy with the queen and we can cash at least one spade we can't do any better than that but we'll make one extra trick there and after that we're down to just hearts so we'll make our um uh, 10 tricks there. we make one extra trick there by establishing the spades so it was a, it's a little tricky and as i said no one um no one managed to do that but really it's the only chance to make a 10th trick there by establishing the spades on that one. Anyone have any comments or questions on that so far? Here's another one. Um, first question for you is, East, your partner here has opened one no trump. What's your plan on this hand? You've only got five points. Uh, uh, transfer two clubs. Transfer to clubs. Transfer to clubs, yeah. I mean, if you have a method of uh, signing off in uh, clubs, um, you can do that. The other thing you can do here is bid Stamen on this hand, yeah. planning 
to then go back to clubs if if necessary. Um, so in other words, you bid two clubs here. If your partner bids two diamonds or two hearts, you then bid three clubs. That's how you sign off in clubs. But on this particular hand, if you do bid two clubs, your partner will actually bid two spades, okay, because they've got a four card spade suit, and then you can happily pass that. So you can sign <coughs> off it in two spades instead of three clubs here, okay? So let's have a little think about this one. Let's suppose your opponents leave a trump here. And what are your what's your what's your plan on this one? Well, what are we going to lose here, if you like? You're going to lose um, one spade. You're going to lose well, one heart, another heart maybe you can rough. You've got a diamond, a singleton in in dummy, so you might escape with not too many diamond losers but what you have on this hand is that good club suit and again just like the earlier one anytime you have a long suit like that you really need to see if you can establish that suit and if you can you'll be able to make a lot of tricks there to discard your your losers so let's see if we can do it let's um suppose they uh, lead a trump and let's suppose we win the first trick with the ace now, you can do this in, in a variety of different ways. Um, what you um, can do is play another round of trumps, a high, play another high trump here. And if you do, that's eight trumps gone. Now what you want to do is just leave that last trump out. There's one high trump out, and it's nearly always a good idea to leave that out. And now we're going to turn our attention to clubs. We're going to try to establish the club suit um, and so let's lead a, a club over to the king if that wins we'll carry on with clubs okay if they take their ace that's all fine okay now the clubs are established now what what could they do now well I suppose they play a heart doesn't really matter we can win that one um, and now what? Well, now we want to um, get back. to dummy, don't we? We want to get to dummy so that we can uh, play the clubs. There's still a high trump out, um, so you might try to get there by playing hearts. Our intention is eventually to, to lead a heart so we can get to dummy. Okay, they win that one. Suppose they play a diamond. We can't stop them winning that. And... If we just look at the north hand at the moment, north has now gained the lead with the ace of diamonds. And mm. it's not a bad idea for north to do what Declara was avoiding doing, which is playing another trump. In other words, north could play the queen of spades to get rid of two of your trump. But you're still okay because you've still got a trump in each hand. So whatever they play back, if they play a heart, you can now uh, get to dummy. Finally, with your eight of spades, and now you can uh, cash your clubs. There are no more trumps out, so you'll be able to throw away all your uh, diamond losers, and you should actually manage uh, nine tricks on this one. Okay. Um, when this was played, a number of people ended up in spades, but only one person made nine tricks there. Uh, a lot of people only made uh, eight tricks there. But uh, you can make nine tricks if you can establish that good club suit. So that really was the um, was the theme of uh, the hands today: establishing long suits. And it's nearly always a very good idea, uh, either in a suit contract and in no trump, as well, to get the most uh, out of your long suits. Anyone have any? Yeah, anyone have any? Yes, questions. Yes. Yes, I do actually. Hi, Francis. I know it wouldn't have worked, but West actually has a seven loser hand. Well, this one here. Yeah, so could they uh, have gone to four spades? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I mean, I certainly wouldn't. Uh, no. Well, because, uh, you know, the, the, the losing trick count is a good guide. But I think uh -huh. you should. I think you should use it in conjunction with your points. So, 
um, you're 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 a bit weak there. You're you're not yeah. far off. Yeah. You're not far off. I mean, perhaps if you'd had, you know, um, a, a, another one one high card, um, that might have been the consideration. Yeah. But, okay. Um, but I think too. <laughs> I think with only. I think if uh, if you if you end up in four spades with only five points, your partner would all uh, would raise their eyebrows at you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Tony. I've got a question, Tony. Hi, Virginia. Hi. Um, the, right back to the bidding, actually. I thought that that two club bid on West Side would have promised more points response okay. to one no Trump. Okay. So normally, um, the two club response to one no Trump should show at least 11 points and an invitational hand. However, you can use two clubs in, uh, in response to one no Trump if you are able to uh, yes. deal with any of your partner's responses, so you're not planning to invite game, you just want to settle in a, in a part score. And this is one of the cases. Here you've got a long club suit. You can't sign off in two clubs anymore because that's stamen. Mm. But the way you sign off in three clubs here is you bid two clubs, planning to rebid three clubs if your partner bids two diamonds or two hearts. So there are there are three situations where you can use stamen with a weak hand. Maybe it's something I'll I'll cover in a, a talk. But you can use stamen with a weak hand, and this is one of the examples. That's and here, here, not only can you sign off in three clubs. Once your partner bids two spades, you actually pass that because you'd rather play in two spades than three clubs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Super. Thank you. All right. Understood. What do you think? You anything else, anyone? I'll, I'll try and cover that topic again so using stamen with a weak hand. That's uh, yeah. a Thank lot you, of people Tony. asking that. If you have no more questions about that, um, I will uh, stop sharing the screen and um, yeah. we will you, um, get started in about 15 minutes. So yeah. nice to see yeah. you all. Thank you. And I will. Sorry, do you have a question? Yeah, I just, but it's not related to, to, to today's lesson. All right. Is it to do with bridge? Sorry, yes. Uh, what okay. Is a, what is a Benji? Ah, what, what is a Benji? Yeah, right. I mean, can you give me an example of, uh, you know, a Benji? Is it like a, a strong two when you do the opening bid? Yeah. So, um, uh, so Benji Akal is, is what you, you mean. And it basically is a, a system of bidding where you use the two hearts and two spades as weak bids, showing six to ten points, and you keep two clubs and two diamonds as strong bids. So the normal way it's played is that um, two clubs is retained as its strongest bid of 23 plus points, and two diamonds is, again, an artificial bid to show a hand worth about eight playing tricks, about 20 points, and it's how you how you show a hand like that so that but you you can't just play it you really have to study it and study yeah. all the responses and um and it's quite a popular um system i see okay. Okay. all right okay. then. like all these things it takes a bit of studying so don't um, okay don't, don't don't do it unless you and your partner no no, agree. no. I, I still haven't grasped it that properly i thought that was too uh, that if you if you play two strongs like two hearts or two spades uh, then uh, it's saying that you know you're you you're you're bidding strong your bid is strong and it's a benji right so in you know pr previously a lot of people played strong twos and they used an opening bid of uh two spades or two hearts as a strong bid. now people like to use those as, as weak bids with uh, oh. few, fewer than 10 points and then they keep just two clubs and two diamonds as a strong two strong bids that you can make but it, it's oh, a good system but it takes a bit of um yeah you know, i think it's a bit complicated for me i wouldn't try it <laughs> give it a try sometime when yeah you, when yeah i'm not anyone else it. anyone else anything we'll, we'll, we'll get started it's um and uh i hope i'll see you all uh, online yes, yes. You will. Okay. okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.